This is James, the slave, the slave master again. I'm back. I just got finished doing a 405 squat video. Now this is uh, 500. So uh, I'm letting you know that I'm trying to let the USPA, IPL, and Fish 65, and, and USPC try to keep it parallel squat. Okay, because over the years it's harder on your joints when you're going past that parallel. But try to keep it parallel. When you go to the restroom, you're sitting parallel. This guy that's out in the woods, I seen a video one time, he's squatting all the way down. He said, this is how you squat. He's down to his, down to his ankles. The fact of it is, he didn't have a lot of weight on his back. So, try, try, to, try, to, try to get where you can switch it back to parallel. And I'm saying this because it's healthier on the person's knees. And they'll last a lot more years. When we practice for powerlifting, we always had to go. We always try to try to go past parallel. You see what I'm saying? That way, when we're in competition, we we, we kind of know what the feel of it is when you go down past parallel. It's, it's hard to explain unless you unless you're used to doing it. Okay, I'm doing 500 pounds, and we're going to wide stance. And like I said, I'm going competing. You have to go past parallel. I wish they would stop that stuff. YouTube was parallel a long time ago when I was competing. Here we go. You people out there that's not competing and you're doing squats and even beginners, I urge you, do not go past parallel. And when I mean past parallel, that means where your hips is going past your knees when you're squatting. You understand? And parallel is where your hips is with the top of your knees. So try to practice parallel squat. And the fact of it is, that's all it needs to be anyway. Like I said, when I was younger, everybody parallel squatting. I always admired the USPA, IPL, and Fish 65. You, actually, the USPF, that was the first powerlifting federation I ever competed in in 1990. Uh, I always admired them for safety and caution and teach people to use good form. You know what I'm saying? So I'm urging you again, you people who have these organizations, keep it at parallel. There's no reason to go past parallel. You understand, there's no reason for it. It's just harder on a person's joints over a period of time. So when you, when you got a bend in your knee, that parallel is not as bad. This is my knee, this is my hip. And if I'm going way past parallel, then that puts a lot more stress on your joints and your knees. And all you powerlifters know this. So I'm saying get with the organizations and say, hey, we admire you for your safety, your caution, and they're trying to do this right for everybody. I still admire you organizations for doing that. But remember, Try to get where you can go parallel. That's all you need anyway. And if they can't break a record at parallel, then they need to be working harder at it. Remember, it's harder on the joints. You'd extend it a lot more. Keep it parallel. All right. This is Slaves Master. Telling all you weightlifters and all you people in the sports and just every average person, just average people too. Stay off the stinking drugs. Do it right. Be good to your body. You got one body. You don't take care of it. It ain't going to take care of you. And it ain't good to live in misery. Okay? I've never experienced that, thank goodness, because I was always natural from the time I was 14 when I started weightlifting up to this day. So if I can do it, you can do it. All right. This is Slaves Master. Take care. Bye.